What is up, my love enthusiasts, and welcome back to another video. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rip the band aid off of this one. This guy's just an absolute troglodyte. Holy shit. So I know I am very late on the news on this, but I just want to give my feedback on it because the sheer fact that I've ever since I saw it, this this event happen live, it's just been rattling in my brain. And not to mention, I just every time like I think about like the game awards or just what happened at Gamescom recently, I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck, dude? That this shit just cannot be happening. Like it, it, this this legitimately cannot be happening so much. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't know why there's there's these troglodytes just coming onto the stage doing this kind of shit. Now, you don't know what's happened. Um, this I'm not even gonna give give you guys his name or anything. I'm just gonna call him this troglodyte. Um, basically went on top of the stage demanding that uh, Bill Clinton wants GTA 6 to come out, and this happened when Jeff Keighley was on stage talking about Starfield, and. You know, it's just one of those type of things where it's like, <laughs> this guy's a copycat. What the fuck? So if you don't rem remember the original meme of this or the original circulation of this type of event happening, it was from Matan Evan, who uh, basically made his appearance onto the stage on the Game Awards during the uh, award ceremony for for Elden Ring. Uh, saying that uh, he presented this award to his reformed rabbi Bill Clinton and um, I think I said that right I'm pretty sure I, I don't remember it's been a long time since I heard the joke but essentially since then you know <laughs> that's just like the that what popularized Matan and you know his in his present in the social media eco space now moving forward what we're talking about eight months later something like that yeah, basically eight months later. This guy, I am like to call him the troglodyte copycat, uh, just decided to go on stage and try to do the exact same thing that Matan did. And I'm just gonna say it flat out. What the fuck are you doing? You could tell the whole audience was not in for it, let alone Jeff. He just, he, he was just like, oh shit, not this crap again. But it's just such a dumb thing to do on stage just to just to ride on the clout of someone else and why 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 this whole thing i was thinking about for quite a while and i could i and all, all i could think about in my brain when i wrapped around was that when matan did it it was something that was way out of left field and something that someone hasn't done in, in, to that extent before to the point where he was you know he was shown up to the limelight and basically that popularized him and put him onto the internet eco space and everyone fucking knows him i even follow matan now and you know his shit when he puts up when he posts something he's actually pretty goddamn funny i'm not gonna lie i like his shit but with this guy this troglodyte he was thinking oh maybe i could do the same thing and then put myself onto the limelight like that and get a bunch of like clout from that way Nah, dude, you basically got the opposite. You got not even 15 minutes of fame because I ain't gonna be talking about your name. Let alone, I, I'm also gonna mention right now, he also tried to do the same stunt apparently two years ago to crash a TV channel, some type of interview or something saying about GTA 6 and Vice City and some well, other goddamn shit. I, 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 this guy has been hogging for clout for a while. And he just thought, oh, I could do the same thing. No. No, you can't. And nobody else should ever fucking copy Matan. At all for this goddamn act. Like I said, when he, when Matan did it, it was just like lightning in the bottle. And it just blew him up. And not to mention, it just made things very funny. Because it was just such an out-of-pocket goddamn thing to happen. Now, with this one troglodyte who did this, now it's gonna give the impression that like, oh, anybody could just go on top of stage with Jeff Keighley and stuff and just like try to chase some kind of damn clout. I'm pretty sure by this point, from the, how the reaction from everybody else, from this one individual, I don't know if anybody else is going to be trying it. I'm not gonna lie, if 
Let's say if I was in this position where I was like, oh, that'd be funny if I did that, I would not fucking do this anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would not even try to do it after what this guy had has just pulled because obviously nobody likes it and nobody uh, is going to appreciate it. And it's just like, it's just kind of like a scary situation because this has happened twice. Again, both with not really ill attentions, but you never know what the hell people are going to be cooking up in their brain. What the hell they want to do to maybe harm someone else. They might harm Jeff. They might harm some director or something that's on stage. And it seems like they're just going to... Who knows if they're going to keep doing it from the next Game Award. I, I, I assume at this point when Jeff is going to be going on stage during the Game Awards of later this year, he's just going to have beefier security. He's just going to have like, you know, the people from Baki just to be his security guard at this point because... That he needs some intimidation. He needs people to intimidate these fuckers. So like, sit the fuck down. Like, you can't be, just be coming onto the stage and just save some random ass shit. Obviously, like I said, Matan was just a, landing in a bottle. It happened, and he blew up. This guy, he did it. He got shit on immediately. He's not even getting his 15 minutes of fame. So, bottom line of the story. Um, his friend <laughs> fucking came on stage as well. Yeah, got nothing and uh, he got shit on as well. Nobody even remembers him. He was <laughs> he, he, he got thin to snap. Fuck him. Anyway guys, that's all I got, got for you today. If you like today's video, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button as well for more content on this channel. And um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the love support. Have yourself a goddamn good one. Remember guys, stay safe out there. Remember, I'm just going on the internet. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, ciao.